Hello, everybody. In this lab, we will do in supervised and unsupervised classification for digital images. Our goal is to do the four classes GIS land cover layers, water, open areas, urban residential, and urban commercial lands. In the stage one, you need to create training sets for different types of lands. Now you have displayed the image of Lawrence uh, like this and go to the raster tab. And under the classification tag, click supervise and select the signature editor. Now there is a small window of signature editor. And next, you need to add the polygon of water zone as an example to the editor. Go to the raster. And under the raster, you will see the joining tag. Click Joining Tag and find out the Polygon choice. Click. And now zoom in to the water zone. For example, you want to generate the sample. And left click to draw a polygon in water zone. During this process, you should be super careful about not including any other cover tabs in your samples. And double click to end your joining. Here you have the polygon of water zone. And next, you need to add this polygon to the signature editor as a sample. Go to the editor and click Create new signature from AOI. Here we go. We have this water zone as a sample. And click class one, change the name as WA1. Please follow in this uh, step to finish the rest of seven uh, samples. Next, we will pull the training samples so we can aggregate the two uh, samples of one type of lens into one. To do this, for example, let's choose the water one and the price shift and choose water two. Go to the top of the signature editor and choose merge selected signatures. And at the bottom, you will see the class one of aggregated, uh, is an aggregated class of two water zones. And click class one, change the name to water. Repeat this procedure, and you will have the four, uh, all four class of uh, land, steps, land tabs. And save this signature editor to your subdirectory. Just uh, put your cursor in the column of class, right click and select select all and go to the file. Click save as and now rename this signature uh, file. Go to and save it to your subdirectory. So next in the stage three, we will run the classification. From your signature editor, please highlight the four aggregated signature. Click 9 and press Shift and click 10, 11, and 12. And then please remember to change the values of these four uh, classes to 1, 2, 3, 4. And uh, go to the Classify tag, click, and uh, choose Supervised. Name your signature file with the, your own name and the super. And choose the subdirectory you want to save the signature file. And click OK. And here, the classification of the signature files is done. And click Close. 
Okay, in the stage four, we will assign the colors to our output file. Please display your output file in your views and put your cursor upon this uh, file name. Right click, select the display attribute table. And at the bottom, you will see the four classes you have just created. And put your cursor on the color column and left click and choose the correct color you want to assign to water, open area, urban residential, and urban commercial. In part two, we will do the unsupervised classification. Unlike a supervised classification in which the user supplies a classifier with training samples of specific land cover types, in an unsupervised approach, the computer will delineate spectrally similar groups, which it then uses the classifier to classify the entire image. And first, please display the DG as an image and fit to frame. You should display this image as a 1, 2, 3 composite. And in step 1, let's first identify the spectrally unique clusters. Please go to the raster. And under the unsupervised tag, let's choose the unsupervised classification. And give the name of input raster. Give the name of the output cluster layer. Add your name and um, supervised. Change the subdirectory to your lab file. For example, lab 10. And since we are using the algorithm of ISO data, please select ISO data and change the classes from 25 to 36. And the maximum iterations is 10. Please remember uncheck the output signature set. And now click OK. When the process bar is 100% green, your processing is done. And now click close. In step two, we will assign the land cover tabs to the spectral classes. First, we will overlay the layer to the original image. Please go to the open file and highlight the file you just generated. And go to the raster options, display as pseudo color. And please remember uncheck the clear display and click OK. Now the image looks a little gray. And go to the, the file you just opened. Right click, select display attribute table. Now you will see the colors of the four different classes. And now please select all the classes. Put your cursor on the row column and right click select all just put your cursor somewhere in the color column and select yellow or green color whatever and now the whole image looks yellow just the yellow okay now, please unselect class one. To do this, press shift and click class one. And now put your cursor back to the color column, right click and go to the other color choice and check the use opacity. And let the slider bar to the zero and click apply. Here you will see some change happen. And please also notice that 
there is an opacity column added to the attribute table. And the opacity for class 1 is 1, while the rest classes, the opacity are 0. Now that we have the actual land cover tabs for the spectral classes, in step 3, we need to recode each of the 25 spectral classes to represent the land cover tab. To do this, we will use the recode module. Go to the raster tag, click Semantic, and select Recode. And give the input file name as the unsupervised file you just created. Name the output file. Give the new directory. And click Setup Recode. For example, let's classify all the classes belonging to water. Remember, if we want to do multiple choice, please press the shift as you click the class. And now, give the new value as a 1 because this is the class 1. And click OK. And please repeat this procedure to uh, classify all other uh, land tabs. For example, let's do the another classification and give the new value as two, class two. Okay. And after you finish all classification recording and click OK. In step four and step five, you will use the skills that we have already learned from previous labs. Please remember, if you want to access the accuracy, you need to use the inquire cursor to do this. And please remember to answer the questions at the end of the lecture. Thank you.